Welcome to What the Flick, everybody. It's uh, the Monday uh, as we tape this, Ben and Alonzo, after the uh, Oscars. And uh, I heard that uh, La La Land won Best Picture. It was late, and I, I went to bed. And I just... uh, congratulations, 14 <laughs> nominations, and it won seven. That's great. What? Judd Apatow tweeted that he like left early to get to his car, and he was like, I can't even watch it now. Well, I mean, I, I, you know, I tweeted after it had already been determined. I was like, mm. hey, I, I went to bed after La La Land won. I'll just uh, yeah, so I'll read about it in the morning in the... You know, whatever. It's a little funny, but the number of people who respond, it always gets me on Twitter. <laughs> You're an idiot. You missed yeah. it. <laughs> Somebody's like, hey, it's 1118. He knows. He's kidding. <laughs> well, it, it's funny because, you know, uh, we, were, we were sort of talking about the whole idea of, you know, was this was this a diss against Moonlight? Was it you know will, the, the, will, will this be considered disrespectful? Will the, 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 the this whole kerfuffle outweigh? in people's memory, the fact that it won. And it's like, before the show started this year, somebody in my living room said, what won Best Picture last year? Okay. And we literally, it took, a, he said, don't look it up, what won Best Picture last year? And it was like, uh, oh yeah, well, you know, and, and I tweeted that, and, and then it finally occurred to me, Spotlight. And I even then tweeted Spotlight, but still people kept telling me Spotlight for ages. Um, but yeah, no one's gonna forget that Moonlight yeah. won Best yeah, Picture also, this year. it's not a, like, it's a vote count. That's all it is. It's a vote count. Yeah. There's no, and we saw Beatty. We now have seen the the, the envelope. The envelope. He was holding the wrong envelope. Yes. I, I have now heard from people who were there that there were two. There were two. Each side of the stage had the. Well, sack. I was going to say yes. So, so it's very stage easy to left believe. And stage right. Right. Stage left and stage right, depending on which door they come out, and then right. one of the Price Waterhouse people hands them the appropriate envelope. So, if let's say Emma Stone came out stage right, the person on stage left would still have. Best actress right, and would need role, to chuck it. Would and, need to put it at the back of the pile and remember yeah. to get, and didn't, or put it, whatever, a human thing, and then gave yeah. Beatty the wrong one. That makes sense. Uh, somebody told me there were two, there were two cards in that envelope. I don't think so, because you see him. Right, he looked through he the looked for another one. I don't know. think that's true. I think yeah. they mean there were two best actress in a leading role cards, and they're on either side, and that just makes logic. That, that's yeah. that's a believable mistake in a sense. It's a problem. It's surprising it didn't happen. Uh, right. Before, I, I, it's funny because I remember in the in, in the in years past there was always that moment in the show where they would bring out the Price Waterhouse people mm -hmm. with their briefcases and like they yeah. have their five seconds on stage and then cart them back off again. Yeah, that, that's that, coming back. That's coming. Back. You're going to see them again because they are now very super important to this show. Um, yeah. But, so so we gave us look. It was live TV and it's a it's an award show and yeah. it gave us a, a a bunch of humanity. Yes. That, that I thought was. Basically lovely, you know. Yeah, it, it, it's a moment that it was just. It, it's the. It is that thing of live TV where any crazy thing can happen. Uh, the la, as as our friend Robert Abley pointed out, that was like the end of La La Land. That's right. You and get the you get the big happy thing, and then the reality, the reality happens. Is, no, you know? it didn't happen. It didn't happen. So <laughs> La La Land still won six. We talked about on what the flick that it was. There was a possibility. Of that a, Moonlight a, could a, be a spoiler, a, yeah. A, a Damien Chazelle wins Best Director, but Moonlight wins. That turns out to be exactly what happens. It was a huge favorite still going to win. It was one to five. You had to lay $500 yesterday to win 100 on Moonlight, uh, uh, on uh, La La Land. Oh. Uh, uh, Moonlight was six and a half to one, and, and Hidden Figures was 16 to one. I did I put a little money on both of them. No, right. um, But the, because uh, uh, you sensed that something might be turning, and I suspect if we ever got to see these votes, we'd be looking at, I mean, I bet it won by a fraction. I bet it won by six votes. You know, right. so I bet it won by very, very few votes. But uh, you know, and you also get the sense that if the Oscars had been uh, a couple of weeks ago, that La La Land would have won best. Well, yeah, so that's you're the, never, we're never going to know. There is this sort of the, well, I mean, the the vote the. Yeah, because then the deadline would have been earlier for ballots. But yeah, the, the, these things kind of ebb and flow throughout season. This movie's up and now it's down, and you know it's like it's a, it's a it, there's a whole industry now of Oscar punditry who kind of follow this stuff. But I think it's worth noting that Moonlight is a low budget yeah. black gay film uh, who the, and the director cites influences like you know Claire Denis and Wong Kar Wai and Ho Sao Sien and and Charles Burnett and uh, you know Nagisa Oshima. Uh, and it won Best Picture, and yeah. that's fucking astonishing. And, and it is, no matter what John Adarola says, uh, <laughs> it is an unbelievable movie. I what mean, the hell is John Iadarola saying? He was like, I like to find. I like to find. Oh, I was I like, John, I Johnny Pie. What's wrong with you? I, um, I'll tell you, I, it has broken my lifelong streak of my favorite film of the year not, not winning Best Picture. Like, that never happens. It's funny. In the, It'll probably Frank, never happen again. Frank Conniff, uh, in the time before when La La Land won, <laughs> and before it did, tweeted that uh, 
move over Crash and the artist. Uh, right? And I was like, no, man. Come look. on. I was like, no, no, that's look, not fair. That's not fair to La La Land at all. Like, we had that whole little exchange in the <laughs> in the two minutes before it became totally irrelevant. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it would have been fine if La La Land won. It's a sure. wonderful movie. But interesting that, that, that 20 years ago, when it was, you know, or when the Golden Globes emerged as the first, it, you know, became a significant television show. Mm. And the coverage now given to all the other award shows, right? Uh, and the, the screen at SAG has been, you know, they haven't even done a show that long. Haven't been. Uh, on TV, no, no it's yeah. relatively recent. Yeah, so I'm just saying that, that in the era before all this explosion, I bet La La Land would have won. That in a sense, like, you want these other shows to build momentum, but then you get the so much, so many shows, so many wins that mm. cause people to go, hey, come on, it wasn't that good. Even though that argument literally doesn't make any sense. Like if it's good enough to win best picture at one, it's good enough to win best picture at the right. 10th one from the same year. But actually, if you look at the whole award season, and a lot of people don't pay attention to the critics awards because they aren't on TV mm. or whatever, Moonlight had actually won more best pictures going into the it, it, Oscars I'm, than La La Land I'm had. talking about the big national ones, yes. Right, but, 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 but in the Globes, didn't La La Land win musical comedy and Moonlight win yeah, drama? Yeah, because that's what it was in. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. But I mean, but where they where they have been competed against each other yeah. in big televised groups, which is what affects the group think more. Sure, yeah, yeah. Uh, that is what, if there was a backlash against La La Land, to me it was this sense of, oh, come on, it's not this good to win all eight. Right, but, but if but they're the same vote theoretically. Or, 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 if you win one, you it's okay to win all eight. Exactly, or the idea that like I, I think if it had not had fourteen nominations, that's right. You it know, had, it, it was if a, it had had six or seven, you know, then, uh, then they, they, they would might, still they would people would still nurture it. But then it's like, well, mm, you know, because it's a record tying thing, and you know, what movie holds up to that kind of scrutiny? You know, but in the end, they still got it. I think right, and, and that and that the a, a really special, wonderful, spectacular movie won. And, yeah, and I think yeah, I'm thrilled that Moonlight won picture. I'm very happy for Chazelle for director. I'm, I'm not, I don't resent that at all. And um, I'd like to be Jordan Hurwitz's agent today because <laughs> he, uh, you know, he came up and he was a mensch. Uh, yeah, he was. Yeah. I, I think there's a little bit of overpraising going on. Like the Washington Post called him like the truth teller we need now. It's like, look. What was he gonna do? Like grab the Oscar and run off stage? But like he couldn't was, let other people handle it, and they didn't seem to. So taking charge. True, he of did. Like, no, no, no. Hey, hey, look, this I, is it. It's wrong. Let's just get this. I take, yeah. I take nothing away from yeah. him. But at the same time, let's yeah, let's well, not I mean, go bananas look, look, here. When we praise people now, we overpraise. When we criticize, we over, <laughs> we over. We don't do any. We can't get anything right. Uh, real quick, we got to go. Uh, I thought Jimmy Kimmel was really excellent. Um, and uh, yeah, so knock it off, job. Kimmel. Knock it off with the making fun of people's names. That's. It's racist, actually, um, but uh, yeah. but other than that, I think he was he was funny. The Damon stuff landed. He the the show moved at a good pace. They didn't bog it down with too many sort of pointless clip packages or you mm -hmm. know musical things. And um, and the history of seeing the people win of that you know the best yes. that's great stuff. Yeah, it was a, it was a it was a tight show, even though it probably ran over long. And and yeah, we'll be talking about that last bit um, forever. So, thanks, guys.